for a quick and easy dip, maybe for a game day or any kind of get together or maybe just for a snack for yourself on the couch. Come with me, I'll show you what to do. We are getting ready to make a buffalo chicken bacon ranch dip. I know that's a mouthful. We're gonna make it in one bowl, one skillet, and one wop. But before we get started, if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. So before we actually get started making our chicken, buffalo, ranch, bacon dip, <laughs> Let's go over the ingredients. We've got some chicken here. Now this is just a chicken breast that was already cooked that I shredded up. If you don't have that, you can easily just throw a chicken breast in the oven. You can stop at the store and pick you up some rotisserie chicken. You can even use deli chicken. You can use any meat you want. And guess what? You can leave the meat out. Throw some spinach in there if you want to make it. Customize, customize. I already cooked up a slice of bacon and crumbled it up. This is actually two slices. Then we have cream cheese that is softened. Make sure you leave it out or get it soft so that you can stir it up really well. I've got some green onions. Now I'm going to be slicing these green onions up. I have some that I've started but I need to get the rest of these sliced up. Then I have some mozzarella and provolone cheese here. This is shredded cheese. And we also have some regular cheddar cheese. Pick the cheese that you want. Then we need some hot sauce, people. Okay, you can use pepper sauce or hot sauce. I am using Old Bay. If you cannot find Old Bay, you can use whatever hot sauce you have. But if you can find Old Bay, it's going to take this buffalo chicken dip bacon ranch <laughs> to the next level. I'm just saying. And then we also need some ranch dressing because, well, it's buffalo chicken ranch. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut up the rest of my green onions, my scallions. And then when I get these done, we'll be right back. So we're just going to basically put everything in this bowl. Oh, and I almost forgot. This needs to go in the oven. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's about 204 Celsius, but I will put that down in the description. And all of these ingredients, speaking of descriptions, will be in the description right below the video. Just look right below the video while you're watching it and you will see me start to talk about the recipe and you'll see the words show more. Click that show more so that it can expand and you can get the exact measurements and ingredients. While this is in the oven, we're also going to make our own chips for our dip. We're going to use flour tortilla shells and we're going to make our own chips. So stay tuned for that part as well. Put everything in your bowl and get it mixed up. So I just put my chicken in. Here goes the softened cream cheese. Put some of our green onions in here, not all. We wanna save a few for garnishing on the end. We're gonna put our bacon bits in here. And we are putting in uh, both of our cheese, no, just our mozzarella and provolone cheese. We're gonna save the cheddar cheese for the top. And we need our ranch. Give it a little shake first. Pour your ranch on in there. And we need our hot sauce. Now, if your hot sauce, always give it a shake first. If your hot sauce, most hot sauces have this little top right here, go ahead. You can take a knife, put it right in the center hole there, and it will pop right out. It won't break or anything. Pop right out, and you can put it back in there. But what that does is it allows us to pour it and not have to stand here and shake, 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 because you need, well, I'm using a smaller amount, but the typical recipe is going to call for about a fourth of hot sauce. Now, you can adjust that if you don't want all the heat. You can definitely adjust that. Um, but who wants to stand here and shake till you get a fourth? Now, from here, we're just going to mix this all together. Get it all mixed up. I have a couple of other things to put in here, and I'm going to grab those after we get it mixed up. 
then we'll be good to go to get it in our skillet. Now, for those of you all who have been with me for a while, you know I can't do anything without my onion and garlic powder, <laughs> or at least not much. So we're adding in our, we just added in our onion powder, we added in a little garlic powder as well. Set those aside. Now go ahead and mix it in. You do not need any salt. None, because that cheese, between the cream cheese, the ranch, and the hot sauce, you have enough salt. If you want to add a little black pepper in here, you can do that. Um, I typically don't, but you can. And just get it. Okay, now, before we put it in our bowl, you know we have to taste. Because if we need to adjust something, add a little bit more hot sauce, a little bit more heat, a little bit more ranch, now would be the time to do it. You don't want to get it done and be like, oh, I should have had a little bit more hot. So, mmm. This is delicious, but guess what? A little bit more hot sauce. And I already put my little top back in, so I don't need much. So I'll just shake it this time. Just a little bit more. And then I will taste again. This is gonna be amazingly delicious. And I like it because it's all cooked in one bowl. Okay, so. I already put my fork in there, so I'm not doing that again. So let me get a little bit on the knife, put it on the fork so I can taste. Mmm, now that's perfect. Okay, I am using my itty bitty cast iron skillet because I, excuse me, I'm still chewing. I am probably gonna be the only person eating this. My husband doesn't like anything with heat. So I don't need a lot and I will probably take half of this and freeze it. So we're gonna put it in the skillet. And I'm making just enough for my skillet. And I use my little bitty itty skillet all the time, so <laughs> I know about what fits in here. So just make sure whatever dish you're using, you spread it around till it's pretty much even. Now it's going to settle when it goes into the oven. So if it's not perfectly even, it's gonna kind of smooth out. But just try to make it as evenly as possible that you can. Okay. And my hands are clean. Set that aside. Now we're gonna go in with some cheese on top. Now this is the cheddar cheese. Just wanna put this all over the top. And then we're gonna bake this covered in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 10 minutes and then we'll take the cover off of the mixture because we're just kind of getting it combined and make sure that cheese in there melts really, really well. This is what it looks like going into the oven uh, because everything is already cooked. So we don't need to cook it for another 30 minutes or 40 minutes or anything like that, but cover it tight because if you, don't, if you don't cover it tight, what's going to happen is that cheese on top is going to start to brown and the inside won't even be warm yet. So make sure you cover it. And if you need to leave yours in your oven 15 minutes or something like that, that's fine because everyone's oven is different. So go ahead, cover it tight just like this, put it in the oven and then after that, we'll be back so we can make our tortilla chips. Okay, so for our tortilla, chips. You just take your tortilla as many as you want. You can stack them. I am just doing one because like I said, this is just for me and I don't need that much. And what I like to do is just cut it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. Cut it in half and then from there, take the halves and stack them. Cut that in half. Stack them again. And cut that into thirds. Now they're just about this size, which is perfect for spreading a little dip on and eating. So let's head to the stove. Okay, so while our oil is heating up so that we can get our tortilla chips cooked, we will go ahead and finish up our dip by taking the foil off. This is what it looks like at this point. We're going to garnish it with some of our scallions, green onions right on top. 
And this smells amazing. I cannot wait to taste it with you guys. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wow. Okay, so don't cover it. Put it back in the oven, 400 degrees. Let that cheese start to get nice and bubbly and lightly brown. Okay, so make sure your oil is nice and hot. It only takes a second, so be ready to take them out as they cook up. You don't want your skillet overly hot because they will fry up. By the time you drop it in, it'll be done. So put them in there. Don't overcrowd your skillet. Work in batches. Okay, let these puff up and fry up nice and crispy. Make sure you have something to put them on. I just have a paper towel and a bowl here. We're going to let these crisp up. Like I said, it only takes a few minutes, two or three, and they'll be good to go. Once they start to get nice and golden brown, you can flip them over. Okay, so our tortilla chips are all done. Don't they look amazing? And look how crispy they are. Hear that? Mmm. Mmm. Let me get my dip. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness. And coupled with the chips. Mmm. Mmm. You all know we have to do a taste test. But first, I want to thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me in my kitchen. Hang in there with me. We got to taste this together now. Oh, I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Oh, mm, mm, mm. don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well and turn on that notification bell so you'll know when I go live, post a video or anything else. Oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. It's piping hot. You know, you can see that steam coming out of there. Look at that. See that nice and cheesy that is? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to put a little bit on a chip. Ooh, it's hot. So that I can taste it. Ooh, it's breaking. Mmm. Yeah, I heard a crunch. Mmm. I'm, I'm supposed to be putting dip on here. Ooh, I need a bigger piece now. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help it. It's delicious. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious.